Hey guys, I just recorded a couple of podcasts, but I realized that, look, not everyone can even understand what the fuck I'm saying when I speak. So it's better for some of you to visualize. And I really care for you to hear this message. So it's fucking important, guys. So for those of you that can't understand the words that are coming out of my mouth uh, here, uh, I'm going to show you this. And this is uh, what happened in UK. So... UK inflation, surprise, surprise, not the 13 market moves. They thought inflation was going down in Europe. They thought inflation was going down in UK, which is sort of a part of Europe anyway. So PMI, CBI reports, buff point supply chain price pressure. Really? Wow. Leo, that sounds like the shit you've been talking about, like uh, political uh, economies. They're no longer economies uh, that benefit the countries. They're just fucking political bullshit. So that's how you get uh, supply chain disruptions, uh, World War III type uh, rhetoric and all this bullshit. Well, this shit is actually real. Wow, that's what happened in the UK today. And so uh, British pound, okay, jumps on what? On worry about delay for interest rate cuts. So hold on, apparently, like, okay, if you're just, in the United States, on that fucking rock, and you don't pay any attention to what the fuck is going on in the rest of the world, you're probably thinking, well, they're going to cut rates in the United States here. So, uh, oh, shit. Actually, the same shit is happening all over the world, right? All over the world, they're talking about how inflation is going to go down, and guess what? It doesn't fucking go down, okay? And then what happens? Just understand this. Pound, okay, British pound, that's in UK. That's their currency, okay? DXY, okay? It's just replace pound with the word DXY or USD. DXY, since this is the chart we follow, uh, if you go to stock charts, you would type in uh, dollar sign USD, okay? Now let me just bring this up, right? So you can check it out. So dollar sign USD, if you go to stockshows.com, um, and uh, I know, guys, a lot of people using Trade View and all that bullshit. But Trade and View, yeah, it's great. So many great things about it. But guess what? Trade and View ain't gonna show you like the black candles. It's not gonna show you some of the things that we teach you in our charge diverges and pattern recognition course, guys. Those are the things. These are undeniable. Okay, these black candles, right? Those are the moments where something goes higher and it fucking drops. We got exact. Uh, Opposite of that right here, exact opposite of the black candle right here. So this is the TRO. This is the shift of the trend, TRO, trend reversal opportunity. Uh, as I was trying to uh, explain this in podcast, right? So look in October, right? This is October, November. This is where the market bottoms right here. Uh, and it begins to go higher. So as market goes higher, Imagine that this is a chart of S&P, for example. Let's go SPX, right? Uh, then <clears throat> for the duration of S&P going high, what happens to the dollar? It drops, keeps dropping. Well, since then, it has reversed. And in the video I posted yesterday, I said, hey, this is a danger zone. This is danger zone because we got a reverse head and shoulder pattern here. and this blue line can actually do this, and before you know it, it's a bullish cross instead of a bearish cross right here. So basically, US dollar is escaping the, the bear cross. And so, uh, the considering what we just uh, got from UK today, right? So British pound jumps, okay? So if tomorrow on the 25th, uh, <laughs> United States investors, and hedge funds and everyone has been run on the fucking market uh, going higher okay there it is right so actually this is a better visual visualization here october okay this is the top in the dollar uh when the market drops dollar keeps going higher and it sets a top oh since then market goes nowhere but higher uh but the dollar actually makes a bullish divergence bullish fucking divergence and this is a bearish divergence for the market so just f 
follow me with this. Okay, I know this is boring shit to some of you, but you gotta grasp this. You gotta grasp this basic foundation so you can understand why the fuck the market's gonna fall out in the next eight days. Okay, so replace the word pound, British pound with USD or DXY. Okay, so imagine this, these are gonna be, I'm letting you know what the headlines are going to be on CNBC and all the Bloomberg and all the other bullshit, right? This is what you will see in the next eight days. They're gonna say dollar, United States dollar jumps on worry about delay for interest rate cuts. We've been talking about this for the last 10 days, okay? The reason why the market has done this is because market participants all of a sudden here, they fucking realized, oh, inflation inflation is gonna go lower wait basically they think fuck i mean my pen here so inflation okay i can't draw for shit now so inflation goes lower is what the market thinks that's why the market does this and they think oh the fed is gonna cut so many fucking times well this is the moment of realization it already happened in uk so tomorrow we can get a moment of uh, realization uh, that whoa shit uh, so the whole time okay <laughs> you're saying the whole time we were thinking that this was true it's actually the opposite it's true inflation is actually gonna go higher so the market goes higher on the uh, idea or the acceptance of idea that inflation is going to go lower. So imagine if the market realizes tomorrow actually inflation is going to go higher. What the fuck is going to happen? I mean, this is going to happen. Okay? And the fact that we're getting to move six at the very, very top when all these semiconductor stocks should do nothing but sit in top, top, top. January 24th, 2024. 24, 24. Top, top, top. Fucking top. In Microsoft, top in AVGO, top SMCI, top, top, top. Every one of these stocks are topping today. And so you probably wonder, well, Leo, would S&P is going to drop? Yes, it's going to fucking drop. Guess what can drop even at a faster speed is uh, NASDAQ. They've been, everyone's been buying NASDAQ every fucking day. What do you think? They're not going to sell it tomorrow? <laughs> Fuck, they are going to sell it. And doesn't mean it's not going to be a move too, because up to six, after a move six, right? We can get, uh, we can get a move too, easily. So we can get like a six, uh, six two, get a six two, or we can get a uh, six three. I think it's going to be a six three sequence. Uh, there is a possibility some stocks are going to do a six two combination, and the outcome on your profits is insane so you want to look for a move too in certain stocks and you want to short them basically on the bounce before they do this so look out for a move too that's your holy grail of trading you you short the bounce you short the bounce and they stop a market condition so uh going back to uh uk so uh just like in the states the hopes for the inflation to go lower uh were higher uh, instead, inflation keeps going higher. Uh, we've pointed out in the very beginning of the year when we posted the video, it's called this stagflation. Stagflation means it's fucking inflation while economy is slowing down. But you wouldn't know that the economy is slowing down. Why? Because Biden needs the public to perceive that the economy is great. So they're going to put these bullshit numbers that are not real and the reason why they're able to put the bullshit numbers is because, well, fuck, they're going to revise them later. So the GDP number, okay, is going to be strong tomorrow because Biden needs the GDP number to be strong. So, and this is how, okay, so replace the word PMI and CBI with the word GDP and CPE because that, those are the numbers that we're getting over the course of the next two days. So replace this with CPE, replace this with GDP, okay? Uh, so those are the two very important data points uh, that we will begin uh, in the United States. Uh, and instead of the word UK, put USA, 
and I've just given you a recipe for what's about to fucking happen. So this is how it reads, okay? You say inflation concerns return as Red Sea attacks lift prices. GDP and CPE reports both point, okay, to supply chain price pressures. USD jumps on a worry about delay for interest rate cuts. This is what you are about to see in the news over the course of the next eight days, okay? Now, you throw our historic analog, which points to a market doing this, within about the same number of days from when the Bitcoin drops begins. Yeah, and if you've been living under a rock, yes, Bitcoin did drop quite a fucking bit. And as it attempted the bounce over the last couple of days, which was also right here in the historic analog, okay? During those days, the market still keeps going higher, but there is a moment right here where it's just, it fucking stalls and it begins to drop. So I would say this is tomorrow, this is today. This is today in the market. Um, if you're tracking S&P futures, I posted a video, it was like a 20 second video saying S&P hits a high of 49, 33 was the high of the day on the S&P 500 futures, 49.33, okay? And so tomorrow, we're not looking for a huge gap down, but we're looking for a gap down from today's close. But what happens Friday is phenomenal, right? That is where the move expansion accelerates, okay? And so you see uh, Friday gap down much greater than the gap down we're expecting tomorrow on the 25th. And then from there, it just, whew, the whole thing falls apart. Okay, and with that, okay, dollar going higher equates to VIX going higher. Because basically, I was trying to explain to you guys that when uh, market is trying to cash out of stocks, and do you think the market may be interested in cashing out of stocks after this run? I think some people will be cashing out. And it's only gonna take a few people to cash the fuck out for the other people to begin to cash out. It's a domino effect. So the dominoes unfold, USD shoots up higher, okay? VIX goes higher, people begin to fucking sell and it causes a domino effect. And people will be selling the most bought names, okay? So Microsoft hitting uh, uh, three trillion today, that is your sign. It's gonna be fucking sold. I don't care how good the company is, how good the stock is. None of that shit matters. There are moments in the market where nothing fucking matters because everybody will sell because they are sheep. And if one fund sells, another fund begins to sell and it becomes, it becomes a situation where who sells first? Oh shit, I don't wanna be selling last. Fuck, I wanna sell now before the other fund sells, before another fund unloads. And before you know it, guys, this stop that we've set today on, uh, uh, on S&P 500, where was it? The top. Uh, it's a distant history. The top on S&P 500, 49, uh, 33, right? That becomes a distant history because things roll over lightning fast. And I'm telling you right now that if you can't get this now, if you call us at 13 Market Moves right now by going to 13mmtv.com, clicking the orange button, scheduling a call, that we will help you trade this because it looks easy on the chart, but there's gonna be bounces where you're gonna jump out and there's gonna be drops when you're gonna get back in on the put side because oh, now it looks like it's dropping. And then you're gonna jump out when it's gonna bounce. And you're gonna do this a few fucking times and you're gonna blow your account. So don't do that. That's why you should be calling 13 market moves right now. You have aspirations to actually experience what a 50X trade fucking feels like. You call us tonight. Guys, we're gonna be up all night long. You call us, you I don't give a shit if you're listening to this message at 2 a.m., 3 a.m., you go to 13mmtv.com, you schedule a call, and you talk to us in the next 12 hours. This is, this is your moment. This is this. This is your 50x moment. For some of you guys that are gonna beat the clock, this could be a 100x moment. 
but a difference of a few hours can make a difference between a 50x and a 100x. So don't wait another fucking minute. Call us now, 13mmtv.com. Click the big orange button and go 100x. At least have the balls to fucking try it. Let's do it.